Maker's breath. It's good to see you in one piece, my friend. Sir Catherine's death is a waste, truly. But I suppose it could not be helped. We will need to work together, and quickly. My father has gone mad. I didn't believe it at first. He saw me as a threat. Yet even now, I'm certain he will be telling the nobles you are dangerous murderers that have kidnapped and mind-controlled me. He may even believe it. Perhaps it will be more difficult for him. It's true. Our position in the Landsmeet is not strong, and this does little to help us. At least that snake Howe is dead. That alone will not be enough, however. You have only just arrived in the city, so perhaps you are unaware of some recent events. Denerim has been in turmoil since Ostagar. Strangely, the unrest is worst in the alienage. Few elves accompanied the army. They should have little reason to be upset. I don't know what is happening there. A useful lead, Anora, but you could have sent this information with your maid. That is true. I feared for my safety as Hal's prisoner. But to tell the truth, I sent Elena to you because I hoped we might join forces. You need that evidence for the lands meet. But you also need a stronger candidate for the throne. You need me. I have no doubt Alistair is biddable enough. And decent. But even with his blood, he is no king. Not only that, Alistair is a Grey Warden. Anora, you are indeed Caelan's widow, but... I am the daughter of Ferelden's greatest general. I am what this country needs, not an untrained king who does not even want the throne. Consider what I have said. Well, she's quite... spirited. Poor Caelan was a good boy, but Honora was always two steps ahead. Had him jumping when she snapped since the first time she battered her eyelashes. I cannot help thinking she may be trouble, but we should keep her close. Oh. This is an alliance of convenience. Be careful how much trust you place in her. Still, I would rather have her where we can watch her than actively working for low game. Anora was a capable administrator for Kalen's lands, but she has not a drop of royal blood. We did not fight the Orlesians all those years just to lose our royal line in a single generation. Not when there's a surviving son of the blood. Um, thanks. I am right here, you know. His mother was a maid, but his father was Merrick Theron. I only wish Merrick had taken more time to instruct the lad in the politics of ruling. We all hoped Caelan and Anora would secure the succession. Are you serious? No, never mind. I, I, I don't even want to hear the rest of this. I'm going to stand over here with my fingers in my ears. That would certainly solve a lot of problems and put forth the strongest argument before the lands meet to remove Loghain from power. With Theron blood on the throne and Honora's wisdom and popularity, Ferelden could present the most united front against the Blight. Unfortunately, the marriage would never happen unless they both agreed to it. And I suspect that might take a lot of persuading to get past her pride and his humility. Ferelden was first united by Callanhad, the Silver Knight. That was the heritage we preserved from the Orlesians. Without that to unite us, we could scatter back to warring Turnians. We certainly have a great deal to plan. Of course. I haven't been here in a while. Something on your mind? Of course. Never, never what? Had a good pair of shoes? Oh, so that's what we're talking about. <laughs> well, if you really want to know, you tell me first. And apparently you have no shame as well. <laughs> well, all right, I'll play along. I, myself, Never had the pleasure. Not that I haven't thought about it, of course. But, well, living in the Chantry is it's not exactly a life for rambunctious boys. They, they raised me to be a gentleman. That's not so bad, is it? I've uh, no urge to rush into anything. Enough. I don't want to talk about this anymore. 
I haven't been here. Something on your mind? Of course. You mean other than becoming a Grey Warden? Hmm. You know, I asked Duncan this too. And all I got was, you'll see. Oh, it's not that Duncan wants to keep it a secret. It's just... The first change I noticed was an increase in appetite. I'd slurp down every dinner like it was my last. <laughs> my face all covered in gravy. When I'd look up, the other Grey Wardens would stare, then laugh themselves to tears. Really? I saw you eating dinner the other day. Savage. Ah, yes, the classy camaraderie of two men traveling out in the open. I take it you were like this before the joining, then. Oh, and then there were the nightmares. And when we sleep, it's even worse. You learn to block it out after a while, but at first it's hard. It's supposed to be worse for those who join during a blight. Some people never have much trouble, but that's rare. Everyone ends up the same, though. Once you reach a certain age, the real nightmares come. Oh, that's right. Well, in addition to all the other wonderful things about being a Grey Warden, you don't need to worry about dying from old age. You've got 30 years to live. Give or take. The taint. It's a death sentence. Ultimately, your body won't be able to take it. When the time comes, most Grey Wardens go to Orzammar and die in battle rather than waiting. And you wondered why we kept the joining a secret from the new recruits. Well, there you have it. You know, Duncan, he started having the nightmares again. I guess he got what he wanted. I just wish it had been something worthy of him. I know. Hello again, Warden. It is good that you came to speak with me. I will be blunt. I can see that your voice will be a strong one in days to come. It is to you that Eamon listens, and with good reason. My father must be stopped, but once that is done, Ferelden will need a ruler. I would welcome your support for my throne. That is exactly what I am proposing. You will be seen as my father's enemy yet you will be in support of his daughter. You will be seen as supporting the interests of Ferelden, as opposed to solely those of the Grey Wardens. In return, I add my voice to yours. Do you see? Together we can do what alone we cannot. Ignoring that the man looks so much like Caelan, my recently dead husband, if you'll recall, my main fear is that he might govern like Caelan as well. But it is true, that Alistair has their own blood. A union might be considered a compromise, but is this something Alistair even desires? Let me say this. If Alistair is willing to stand back and allow me to continue governing the nation, then I would be willing to have him as my king. It is my understanding that governing does not appeal to him anyhow. If that is so, this is a compromise I can live with. Do so. I'm glad you made it safely away. I hear Howe's death has already brought no small amount of cheer to the city. We went through our joining together, more years ago than I like to remember. I think he understood sooner than the rest of us how ugly a choice it is to let the few be sacrificed to protect the many. Always left himself a soft spot for his recruits, though. Only where he ever let himself down. When I'm well enough, I'm going to continue my journey toward Ostagar. If we want to defeat this Archdemon, we need to know where it is and how soon it might strike. If there were more of us, I would agree. But as it is, I don't... Good luck to you, then. We... So, I'm guessing someone told Honora I was planning to steal her throne. She has a nasty glare. Did anyone mention this wasn't my idea? 
I think she's a great queen. As far as I'm concerned, she's welcome to it. Really? <laughs> Whatever will give you that idea? Well, it's nice that you think so. What do you think I should do? Go ahead and be king? Just let it happen? Marry her? As in marriage? As in be her husband? You've spoken to her about this? You did, didn't you? Why would you do that? Did you take a blow to the head? That's crazy. I suppose. Go ahead then. Tell her I'll do it if it comes to that. Now excuse me while I go have a small heart attack somewhere. No big deal, right? Well, have you spoken to my lucky betrothed yet? He has? I wasn't expecting that, to tell you the truth. To marry Kaelin's brother. Well, I suppose stranger things have happened. Is this it, then? I agree to marry Alistair, to retain my throne, and in exchange I give you my support. If not, then tell me now. Done. So, we have a deal, Warden. That will be no small feat, of course, but I am certain you already know this. I imagine you have much to do. Is there anything else you needed from me? Then I wish you luck, Warden. I haven't been here in a while. Something on your mind? Warden, let me know if there's any assistance I can give you. We have much to do, and look. My hearing must be going. I could swear you just said that Alistair and Honora agreed to marry. I... pleased would hardly describe it. Shocked. I'm shocked if... This alliance can only help us. Well done, my friend. We need to do all the... Warden, let me know if there's any assistance I can give you. Maker knows what that man is capable of now. Of course, if I might make a... I have spoken with Alistair. Perhaps this mad betrothal won't be quite the curse it first seemed. Warden, let me know if there's any assistance I can give you. We have much to do and little time. We need to do all that we can. Dwarven crafts. Find dwarven crafts. Shit. 
shall be done. Be gone! Someone's coming. Thanks for running those thugs off. I thought they were gonna kill me. I was on my way home. It has begun. It's you. Come in. I didn't thank you before, did I? I, I wish I could give you something. Everything I owned was lost to looters after the purge. Not that I had anything valuable to begin with. You'll have to excuse me if I seem a little skeptical that a total stranger would break me out of prison for no reason. Nothing comes without a price. What is it you came here for? It's a plague, so they say. I've seen a few sick people since I've been back, but I don't know how bad it really is. There are mages from Deventer here helping to treat it. But there's something odd going on, though. My cousin Shiani could tell you more. You can't miss her. Just look for the angriest woman in the alienage. I guess so. I'd expect Templars here otherwise. Between the Civil War and Ostagar, the city doesn't have enough soldiers left to seal the alienage. And only elves and refugees have gotten sick. I'm sure that if anyone important gets the plague, the alienage will burn. I guess the plague's been pretty bad. There are mages from Deventer here helping to treat it. My cousin Shiani could tell you more. <laughs> you can't miss her. Just look for the angriest woman in the alienage. I don't know. You can only find out... Could you talk to Shiani? Please. I... Really? here for another day so go home the best thing you can do for your children is not trust these charlatans everyone remain calm we will help as many as we can today so long as we can do this in an orderly fashion oh you're helping us are you Shem like Valendrian and my uncle Syrian you helped them didn't you help them never to be seen again we explained this to you before girl more whining will not persuade us to let you into the quarantine to carry plague back out to the alienage. Quit trying to get us all killed, Shiani. Some of us have still got things to live for. If this spell of theirs works, why are half the people they quarantine perfectly healthy? You shouldn't be here, Dwarf. Your kind don't leave the market district. Wait. Soros told me about you. You're the one who freed him from the dungeons. These foreigners say they're here to help with our outbreak of plague. Funny thing, though. All the people they help disappear. That's not true, and you know it, Shiani. Both my sisters got the Tevinter spell cast on them, and they're fine. Where's your niece, then? And my Uncle Syrian, and Valendrian? These men from Tevinter say their magic will prevent people from catching it. But many of the ones they quarantine aren't sick. One of them was our Hiren, Valendrian. And I don't know what we're going to do if we don't get him back. They won't just let you in. Well, just be careful. No, you can't go inside just for a moment. You shouldn't be out on the streets now anyway. What with the plague? 
Hmm. What's worse, dying of the plague or dying of hunger? I'll take my chances with the plague, thank you. Not enough to put up with all these questions. What do you want? Six. <sighs> sure. Thank you, friend. They took him away already, through the back alley. We don't know where exactly. You don't have to say that twice. I shall do it. Some of the elves ran out, but I didn't recognize any of them. Let me see that. What does this even mean? They can't be shipping people, can they? Shipping them where? No. People go in, but they don't come out. They could be moving through the back alleys. There are all sorts of buildings back there. They could be using one as some sort of warehouse. There are apartments off the alleys. If you find any more information, please let me know. What's this? Another shipment already? We weren't... Wait. You're no Tevinter. Who are you supposed to be? Quick, get them, hurry! Enemies approaching!
What is the meaning of this? We were told that there would be no interference from the authorities. Oh, an errant group of do-gooders then? You will regret this, you know. The humans talk a great deal about how very wrong slavery is. But isn't it funny how quickly the smell of gold overcomes such ideals? So I should feel kinship for these sheep? But enough. I am here to halt your slaughter, nothing more. Do we not? What could you be here for, then, if not to exact righteous retribution? You wish to parlay, do you? Hmm. Very well. I hope there's a good explanation for this, Devira. There is, Enchanter. This intruder fought his way through the courtyard, but claims that he is not here to exact revenge. <laughs> and thus you thought it best to bring the Grey Warden directly to me. Grey Warden? But... I... We are in the company of the royal bastard who would be king as well. Have you no sense, my dear? Listen to that. A slaver calling me a bastard. Well, what is done is done. Well met, Grey Warden. I'm Caladrius, and I have heard a great deal... You dare? Foolish, foolish Devira. Are you certain you wish to commit such rash action, Grey Warden? Look... Uh, pity. Seems your reputation is an accurate one. I surrender. No, wait! Hear me out, kind sir. Were I to use the life force of the remaining slaves here, I could augment your physical health a great deal. Allow me to leave this place alive, and I would be more than happy to do this little service for you. Little service. He is talking of blood magic. Surely you would not consider such a thing. Most wise. Uh, then, um, uh, I... Ah. Well, that is a shame, isn't it? <laughs> Shall be done. Somehow, if I'd been asked to guess the next person to walk through that door, I wouldn't have said it would be a dwarf. Are you one of them? What happens to us now? Shiani? Did she send you here? Praise the Maker! We will not trespass long on your good graces. Come, everyone. Let's go home. Ah, it's you. Welcome. Please, come in. Tell me, how is Duncan? He's been a friend of mine for many years, yes. From the look on your face, I take it the news is bad. I am sorry to hear that. I knew that the Warden suffered great losses at Ostagar. But a few escaped. I, I had hoped Duncan might be one of them. We've been through outbreaks of pestilence during the war with Orlais. We'll endure. I doubt he came here now and then to look for potential recruits. Perhaps that seemed... 
Please, take this. I suspect you'll put it to better use than I would. Good luck to you, Warden. I shall do it. Very well. It has begun. Is someone there? Be not afraid. I still have some sight to see you by. It is a pleasure to make your acquaintance. I am a Templar. He called flame from the air and burned my face. The scars have healed, but my sight will never recover. In my time in the alienage, I've come to feel there is something sinister at work here. It took patience, but some elves opened up to me and I've heard their sad tales. But I found no real evidence to support my fears. Ears alone have done all they can. I was hoping you could be my eyes. Look around the alienage for anything out of the ordinary. I don't know. You seem capable. Make her watch over you, child. I'm sorry if I was rude to you before. Andraste's ass, you think I'd learn to social grace. I can't believe you did all that for us. Spare a silver for a war veteran? Ostagar, Darkspawn took off half my foot. Oh. Be gone! Very well. <laughs> 